Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we are going to explain how to open these HEIC files. You might ask, what are those? Those are just images that have been taken, most likely on an Apple device. And the HEIC stands for High Efficiency Image File. Now that format wasn't actually developed by Apple, it's just mostly used by Apple. It's actually, I'm not a big Apple fan, but it's actually a pretty good format because it's lossless. In other words, you can make a smaller image file without losing any of the quality. If you don't understand that, don't worry about it. And a couple of other really quick things you don't have to worry about, but you might be interested in, is it also supports transparencies, and you can put more than one image into a single file. The big problem with it is, nothing much supports it, except some Apple devices. But the easy way to get this to work is to go to the Microsoft Store, And type in HEIC for the search and there's a number of these and I like this one the HEIC converter which is by screen recorder I'm going to select the get <laughs> by the way I'm doing this on Windows 11 but this works exactly the same on Windows 10 And select open. And now all we have to do is drag the files in. So I'm going to get rid of the store. I don't need it anymore. I'm just going to drag these over a bit. And let's grab some of these HEIC files. This one to this one. We'll just drag them on. Here they are. And we want to convert them to JPEGs. That's the most common format. Click convert with a check mark on all of them. And you'll see it says converting and it'll just roll through each one. And you can preview it. I'm going to select paint.net. That's the program I like to edit uh, graphics. There it is. <laughs> That's a bad picture. Or you can select open folder if you want to see it, but it already opened the folder for me, so that's easy. And now I can get rid of these HEIC files because I just don't need them. I can drag all of these lovely JPEGs back into my base folder here and I'm good to go. And that's it. If you found that useful, hey, we'd really appreciate it if you would click like. Subscribe's always appreciated. You can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.